This is Wonder Kids, a SciTech podcast where you send in your big science questions and the amazing SciTech staff find the answers. My name is Rose, and I've been thinking a lot about space because of a question sent in by Devlin. My name is Devlin and I'm five years old. Why does the Earth look small from the moon? And to answer that question, we have Rocky with us today. Thanks, Devlin. What an awesome question. The first person to see the Earth from the surface of the moon was Neil Armstrong on July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. After he took his famous step, he held up his thumb and he shut one eye, and he completely blocked out the entire planet Earth. He later said that he didn't feel like a giant. He felt very, very small. So why does the Earth look so small from the Moon? The simple answer is that the Earth looks small from the Moon because it's far away. Really far away. To show you just how far away, imagine that the Earth was the size of a soccer ball. The Moon is a little bit smaller, so imagine that that's the size of a tennis ball. How far apart do you think they are? If you like, you could pause the episode here and have a guess with a real soccer ball and tennis ball. Now, most people guess that you would hold the soccer ball earth in one hand and the tennis ball moon in the other, and then maybe stretch your arms out wide. But it's actually way further than that. At this scale, they'd be about seven meters apart. So if you were holding the earth in one hand, you'd have to hold hands with about six friends and all stretch out your arms together and then get the person on the end to hold the moon. So the Earth looks small in the Moon's sky for the same reason that the Moon looks small in the Earth's sky, because it's really, really far away. In fact, looking at Earth from the Moon would be a lot like looking at the Moon from the Earth, with a few little differences. First, the Earth would still look bigger from the Moon than the Moon does from the Earth, about 13 times bigger. The distance we're looking over is the same, but if you remember our soccer ball and our tennis ball, the Earth is much bigger than the Moon, so it looks bigger in the sky. If you stayed on the moon for long enough, you'd also notice that the Earth goes through phases, just like the moon does from Earth. Over 28 days, you'd see a new Earth, and then a crescent Earth, and then a half Earth, and then a full Earth, and then back to a half Earth, and a crescent Earth, and then a new Earth. But over that whole month, the Earth wouldn't move in the sky. It'd always be in exactly the same spot, never rising or setting, as long as you stayed on the same part of the moon. So this happens because the moon turns on its axis once every 28 days, but it also goes around the earth once every 28 days as well. So the same side of the moon is always facing the earth. And from any given spot on the moon, the earth always appears in the same part of the sky. The sun, on the other hand, would still rise and set, but because the moon takes 28 days to rotate once, instead of 12 hours of day and about 12 hours of night, you'd have about two weeks of day, followed by two weeks of complete darkness. The very last person to see the Earth from the moon was astronaut Gene Cernan in 1972. Right before he left, he said this. And as we leave the moon and Taurus Literal, we leave as we came, and God willing, as we shall return, with peace and hope for all mankind, God speed to coup of Apollo 17. And it looks like maybe we will return. Space agencies around the world are hoping to go back to the moon soon. And not just to visit, but to set up a base. So those astronauts, they'd see the Earth in the sky all the time. They'd see every phase of the Earth, and they'd work through those long days and long nights. And with a little bit of luck and a whole lot of studying, one of those astronauts might even be you. So, Rocky, the Earth would actually look bigger in the sky than how the moon normally looks for us on Earth. Yeah, the Earth is much bigger than the moon, but it's very, very far away. So it looks small, but not quite as small as the moon. Oh, I get it. Thanks, Rocky. Can you imagine what it might be like to see the Earth from the moon? 
What are some of the things you might see if you were to travel into space? Thanks for listening to Wonder Kids. This podcast is brought to you by SciTech. Explore your world through wonder.